Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the Synology DS920 Plus and I want to give you five reasons why you should buy it and five reasons why you shouldn't. So let's get straight into it. So first and foremost it's the price. The first good thing about this device is it arrives at about 450 to 550 depending on where you buy and inclusive of tax. Again depending where you shop around which is pretty reasonable for a flagship Synology four bay NAS solution in 2020. And there's a hell of a lot packed into this, which brings us on to number two. It is a contained hardware and software solution. It gives you access to pretty much the entire library of Synology's platform in terms of DSM, all of the applications in first and third party support, Plex Media Server, all of their collaboration suite, the backup applications, multimedia applications, Mac and Windows and mobile applications. It gives you all of that as a contained software and hardware conclusive package all of it inclusive of this device number three the reason you should buy this device is because of nvme ssd caching bays that's right this device allows you to improve the performance of the internal hard drives that you install inside there with sata with nvme ssds based in the bottom of this device it allows you to improve the read and write performance internally within the device's lifespan and if you're going to use things like virtualization if you're going to use things like surveillance if you're going to be doing lots of things where they are intensive internal operations of data all the time you will see the benefits of caching and of course not just business users but home users too next reason number four is dsm7 although dsm7 has not arrived dsm disk station manager it's worth highlighting that dsm7 when it does come at the end of this year this is going to be a prime example of having the hardware on hand to utilize that software notwithstanding the improved graphical user interface and improved widgets and effectively the socket structure and the front panel graphical user interface of dsm7 but the improvements in ssd caching and all of those individual collaboration apps from Drive to Chat to Calendar to Office and more, all of them, along with Active Backup Suite, are supported on this device to a remarkably high degree. And given that they're going to be improved vastly in DSM-7, this may be a good way to get your foot on the, on the ladder, so, it's, so to speak. Next, SHR and BTRFS. Although these two systems are supported on a myriad of other Synology platforms, the BTRFS operate, um, sorry, file system and Synology Hybrid RAID are supported on this device to a much more useful degree to most users. BTRFS can be utilized not only as a standard file system with faster background snapshots, better um, shared folder duplication and integrity checks and file self-healing, but on a larger file system that takes advantage of VMs, widespread backups and a multi-tiered backup strategy, a 4-bay is a better place for that, uh, that file system. And with regards to Synology Hybrid RAID, or SHR, it is far, far more useful to you to take advantage of that in a 4-bay device where you can mix and match drives in this system's lifespan than in a 2-bay. So in, again, as this 4-bay goes, having the inclusive nature of the software, the hardware, having NVMe SSDs, the price point that it arrives at, and the kind of unique nature of um, Synology Hybrid RAID, with their systems, make the 920 Plus right now a great NAS to buy. But what about the five bad reasons? Well, five reasons to not buy this device. First and foremost, 1GBE. This device arrived with one gigabit Ethernet as standard. And although it has two LAN ports there on the rear, there's still only going to be two GBE, which may put a lot of users off. And again, there's going to be a running theme here, as you will see uh, while we talk about this device. Reason number two is going to be the fact that it's only got one upgradable memory bay. And I know it arrives with four gig by default, which is a great feature. And that CPU and Synology themselves so that you should not exceed eight gig of memory. But I know a lot of you are going to. And that one memory slot compared with the two that was in its predecessor. That's something that a number of you I know aren't a big fan of. Number three is the reason that it's not a huge upgrade over the DS918 that came before it. The 918 is about two and a half, three years old, depending on where you are in the world when it was released. And this device, although it has an improved CPU and improved memory over its predecessor, it is not a significant jump in pretty much any other way, still maintaining a Celeron and still the same amount of memory. And for a number of you who are either looking to upgrade from the 918 or that are seeing the 918 at a decent little price, this may not be something that interests you enough. Number four. It's not the best performer in Plex Media Server. It does support 4K transcoding. That CPU is great for that. 
but as far as Plex Media Server goes, it is not a huge jump over the 918 that came before it. In fact, in some ways, it's not a jump at all. And if you are looking for a 4K Plex Media Server, although you know video station works fine, as far as Plex goes, you should only go as high as 1080p on this. And if you are looking at a 4K Plex Media Server, then it will be far better pushed for you to go for something with maybe an Intel Core, like an i3 or an i5, or something with a quad-core Pentium. Number five is the idea of going back to those NVMEs. Because as much as I love those NVMEs and SSD caching, it has to be highlighted that you cannot use those bays for raw storage. You can only utilize them for caching in working in conjunction with your hard drive array. And although that may, may be very, very useful to a number of you, a lot of you want to take advantage of the speeds that NVMe SSDs provide. And even though there's that limitation on the rear of 1GBE or 2GBE mid-link aggregation, the internal improvements of utilizing NVMe SSDs inside this device cannot be overlooked. And the fact that you can't use those NVMEs for raw storage may put a number of you off. But this has been five reasons you should and shouldn't buy the DS920 Plus. Do let me know what you think and do read the review in the comments at NAS Compares. To learn more about this, go over to that link. If you liked this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe. And I will see you next time.